food that we serve at Salpicón is traditional and contemporary Mexican food. I use Mexican ingredients for um, creating new dishes and with a very uh, contemporary um, taste and flair and everything. I never went to culinary school, but I've been cooking all my life. I learned how to cook when I was uh, living in Mexico when I was very, very young and I was at home and basically my training was for my family, for my mom, for my grandma. So you know, I, I would say the, the cuisine is traditional in a way because I learned from them, but also I like to say something more contemporary. Salpicón means a splash and what we try to do here is to have like a piece of Mexico in Chicago when it comes to the food, the atmosphere, the ambience. You know, you come here in, like in a Saturday night or something and you feel like totally you are in Mexico. So Scott, you're telling us that Salpicón is the best Mexican cuisine in the city. So Absolutely. tell us why you chose this selection. Well, you know, I think that this restaurant is one of the, the most innovative. It, it, I, I'm not exactly sure how many um, years it's been in Chicago, but, um, but lots of people gravitate towards it for its really clean and authentic flavors. It's, it's not for somebody who's kind of interested in the, the chips and salsa, although they certainly have that. But it's got, it's got really fresh, really flavorful uh, uh, juxtaposition of flavors and, and uh, fresh fruits and vegetables that go along with things. The food is fabulous there. But my problem with, it's not so much South kind as the city of Chicago, is there seems now to be no middle ground between mm. that storefront taco joint right. and this Epicurean experience. Right. Yeah. And it's a fabulous place. Mm. I had the fish when it was at the tilapia. And oh, it was yeah, just I had that too. Great. And the place is really bright mm -hmm. and it's a nice little place. But they may be missing out on some audience who comes in there and says, I don't recognize anything on this menu. Uh -huh. So I'm a little scared. Yeah. Take that one step up and use that unbelievable creativity right. that's obviously going on in the kitchen to sort of educate the Chicago palate. I thought it was be if between okay and bad. I thought it was in between, to tell you the truth. Really? Tell, tell me why. <laughs> what? Um, there's, some, there's a lot of things to say about this place, I have to say. We, we went from really loving the guacamole it was probably the best I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And it was delicious. It is good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So good. I, we, got, we ordered two because it was too small. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The order was just, it was pretty small. Um, for me, as a very strict vegetarian, mm -hmm. there was not a lot for me mm -hmm. on the menu. And I actually was expecting a huge selection of vegetarian food on the menu. Right, um, one would expect. But literally, there was nothing on the entrees that I could eat. Yeah, it was heavy. It's heavy yes. on the fish. Yes. Really heavy um, on fresh fish. Yeah. And granted, I, maybe I expected more, too, for the prices. Yeah. I, I will say that, that you know, you can well, this is not a, this is not a, a cheap date place. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is a place where you go and, and you know, cash in your IRA. Tequila, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question. Don't you think it is kind of, I'm a drinking guy. Kind really? of pretentious to list dozens and dozens of tequilas there, and you're a wine person. Well, You've got to be difference. pretty experienced. Yeah, there is, I got to yeah, tell I you, a seventy-eight dollar shot of tequila yeah, that was, is so out of control. Well, what could be I mean, sense about wine? It's like, why do you need to have fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred different selections of wine? You know, the average person may only want like you know Pinot Gris or what have you. But for those that maybe be interested in it, there is that option, mm -hmm. and it's nice as a restaurant to at least offer the option. And I will tell you, uh, part of my training actually is not just limited to wine. I actually had to study um, spirits and including tequilas and cognacs and How do you get even your a cigar. Job? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> really cute. I get it. <laughs> but um, I will tell you this, the $78 tequila, it is very much like you said, like a scotch. Mm -hmm. It goes through an extensive aging process sure. in barrels and it takes on actually if you have a really well aged Añejo tequila, mm -hmm. it tastes like bourbon, like a really good Pappy Van Winkle 23 year bourbon. Yeah. How was your experience with the Margaritaville? Margaritas were wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Good, they made I up for too. the experience, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. Good vegan girl drinking a margarita. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. And the tortilla soup was really good. And they did go to the lengths on the appetizer listing 
to say that it was made in the vegetable broth, which mm -hmm. I appreciated. Mm -hmm. I tried another appetizer I could since I couldn't get an entree, uh, which was a sopas rusticas. Yeah, 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 I had that. Yeah, and I had to get them without cheese, and they were very bland without cheese. Yeah, without the cheese. the cheese, they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so. is that the restaurant's fault, though? I mean, if you're, you know, dietary restricted and they right. can't put a certain yeah. ingredient in it, I mean, yeah. it's not really the restaurant's fault. Did you find, Rick, that the service service was, was great? Service they was great for you. One peculiar thing, yeah. one peculiar yeah, thing like, about <laughs> the service <laughs> is they have valet parking there, but it's also Well Street and it's meters all yeah. along. Yeah. yeah, I found it was a cold night. I found a meter right across the street. I know, right Rock across the street, popping. no problem. Yeah. Walk in and say hi. Could I have change for a dollar? And they were adamant about we are not allowed to give quarters. I said, well, see, I said, well, see, I, I would, I'm not cheap. <laughs> I, would, I would valet park. And the nice maitre d', this woman there said, okay, it's empty here. I'll get you four quarters. But we're really never allowed to do this. Really? I went out, fed the meter, and felt so horrible that I went back, and on the way in, I tipped, tipped the, the valet guy. Bizarre. It was yeah. so bizarre. Like around the city of Chicago, I think the no, shoots, no, no shirts, no shoes, no service sign has been right. replaced by don't no ask for quarters. quarters. Right. Yeah. It's just Maybe the same right. it's a, it was, it's a new phenomenon. It's a new and, don't ask for quarters. new and frightening phenomenon for me. Scott, this was your selection. Wrap it up for us. Salpicon is a place for people who have a, a real appreciation for clean, simple flavors of Mexico, a wonderful margaritas, and um, just a nice atmosphere. On air? I would say uh, very good margaritas, very good guacamole. Uh, everything else was less than mediocre for me. Great food, fresh, good. Give me some tacos. Give me some enchiladas. Give me something between. I'll give you quarters too. The, Epic <laughs> the Epicurean delight this place is, and these storefront taco joints. All right. Well, you can check out their tortillas and tequila at Salpicon, 1252 North Wells, 312-988-7811. Open for dinner every night and lunch on Sunday. Reservations are highly recommended. Average tab per person without drinks, forty-five dollars.